All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another, well, another part two, I should probably say, of Deathwish 808's stream takeover. We are back, of course, with um, Stray, which um, we started last night and we had an absolute blast with. So, uh, yeah, really excited to be jumping back into it again tonight. Um, not really sure if we, I, I really kind of want to like go back through the window if we can. I don't know if we're we're able to at this point because we didn't find all of the vending which I'm a little bit um, uh, annoyed about. We didn't find them all, but uh, we'll see. Um, you know, we can always come back. I mean, surely if that um, document is important, then we'll need to come back for it anyway. But. Yeah, I kind of jump jump through the window and not anticipating that that would be like a checkpoint and like the window would get shut behind me, which I thought was very mean of Momo. But um, hey ho. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump back in to life as a cat. Ew. Ew. Be cool if you could press me out on the menu when it was loading on the loading screen. Oh hey, look at that. <laughs> We're back in Momo's flat. Excellent. Excellent. All right, so, uh, in that case, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You're excused. Uh, now, I still wanted to come back in Momo's flat. However, I think, looking at this, the window to escape has been shut. But I don't think I can escape. There are Momo's reasons. Gonna... This Momo is going to come and open the door for me, which I don't think they are. So, uh, okay, I guess, I guess we're not going back. <laughs> yeah, everything's for a reason. I want to go back. I want to go back, Deathwish. Uh, you... Depends on what you're talking about, you will. Move me out. There's some weird stuff going on. Like, seriously. I think there's a phantom cat in this room or something. First something gets broken. Then somebody meows at me. to the sky. Reach for the sky. And a poncho. Alright, well, let's head on out the window. Meanie. I can't believe he just, he just shut me out. Say he. Of course, it's a robot. Sure Man, robots, I'm... Uh, I'm, uh... I'm already climbing pretty quick back to another stream takeover. It's like it's giving me a lot of extra bonus points. I think, uh, I think we're going to change the uh, the stream takeover thing. I think uh, one 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 per person per for life. That's it. <laughs> no, no. no. All right, let's uh, let's sharpen these claws. Ready to run because uh, I can see the zerks. There are quite a few of them. Uh, this is oh uh, yeah, this is where we get into it's yeah. Get that, but then it's also sort of a puzzle ish. I'll say ish. It's not. There's no real. I don't. I wouldn't consider anything a real puzzle. I guess it depends on. Snap. <laughs> Dead. 
Yeah, you thought you were out of them. And attack! You're dead. <laughs> yeah, I was spamming circle as quickly as I could uh, spam yep. it, to be fair. It, uh, when, once you get slowed down by one, when they attack you like that, you're dead. There's nothing you can do. You can only buck off a couple. There are there are tricks that I found to work quite well through everything in the game after the first couple of uh, rounds with dying with these guys. Okay. But no point in saying anything because uh, some paint. <laughs> I like the paint, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm sure there, there's multiple me, ways me, to get me, around them. Mika's in line up for two stream takeovers. <laughs> right, well, I guess we're going over here. Well, Mika, you could, uh, there's, there's a command to transfer those points to me. <laughs> Some ancient point, uh, death was transfer PTS, uh, 175 K. Backslash, backslash. Yeah, don't forget the backslashes. Okay, so I kind of get the idea here. We're uh, kind of luring them away from where we need to be and then finding an alternative route, it seems. Sure, whatever you want to think. Well, that's what I'm thinking, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, whatever you want to think. Yeah, well, I'm, just telling you. I'm telling you, that's what I'm thinking, dude. Well, I, I believe you, because you're telling me. <laughs> and I'm not saying you're wrong, because you're not. The city was full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the some slums. People couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. A person was taken away and never seen again. I saw hope, and not long after, everyone sighed from loads of lights in that house. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for the for people to see colours again like the outside. I think it helped. Right. Um a couple of things that are close by. Yeah, like scripted jumps, Mika. Yeah, I think the whole point of that was to not mislead the player. To, and, well, piss off the player, because if you yeah, didn't have the jumps that way, you'd be trying to make a jump and not make it, and then you'd make another jump that you didn't think you could make or something like that. But they... I like the way they did it, so that yeah, yeah, definitely. You know exactly what you can and can't do. And like the game, the the only way that I, at least that I know of, that you can die is uh, from the head crabs, the zerks. Yeah, I thought this was quite cool. Simple, simple, simple thing, but it was. It was it's quite a cool little like physics thing. Yeah, I like that, that first one, it was like you, you needed the momentum to kind of um, swing yourself across, which is quite neat. Yeah, they used that a few times. Uh, I like the barrel thing. Yeah, they, you know. They... Nothing, nothing super clever or anything, but it's just a nice addition. Oh, hey, look, there's the. It's the real world, potentially. 
Uh, no. This well, not the real true. world. Not, not, the, uh, not, not the real world, but at least the upper level. It reminds me a lot of um, like Final Fantasy VII in the fact that like the majority of people live down below a plate in the slums and then it's kind of like you have this like top area which is uh, all nice and pretty and technological. Yeah, I never, never played Final Fantasy. None of, none of, I haven't played any of the 30 or 40 Final Fantasies, however many there are. Uh, well, there's, there's 15 main games at the minute, but, um... Oh, that's yeah. all? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Okay, they're not. So. They're not going to scrape everything they can out of out of uh, one game, are they? Like Call it Call of Duty 27. I'm taking it. I can jump over there. Yeah. Okay. So we need to hack the door. Send these through here. Or maybe it's like. Okay, this let's is possibly... see if you let's see if you can do this without dying. This looks a bit like an airlock situation here. Might you can, right now, you can tease them because they can't touch you. Yeah, okay. So that's what I thought. Now, interestingly... I think I just gotta hack the door and, and run. They like you. They want to be your friend. Do you know what? I don't particularly want to be their friend. <laughs> they look mean. Nice job. Do I, get, do I get bonus payouts for not dying? Is that part of the deal? Yep. Bonus. I, I definitely died here. I wasn't I wasn't as patient as you. Uh, I also did it the hard way. Which I you saw did. that. I saw I saw that, but I'm like, no, I'm going for it. Uh, <laughs> I ran I, I, I ran around. And my goal was to close it from the other side since the button was on the other side as well. And I managed to lure them into my side, run around and shut it off from the side they originally came from. So I was kind of, because I mean, the game is, pre the game is pretty easy. I mean, there's not really okay much, much difficulty to it. So uh, I gave myself my own little challenges so I need to jump down there, hop onto there, push the plank across, and go through that air vent. Well, so it's like you've played this game before. Kind of thinking though, are any of these like eggs gonna hatch or whatever they are? Because it seems a little bit too quiet. But... Okay. You smart kitty. Waiting to be ambushed. Nah. Or it's coming. This just feels like we're entering the uh, Queen Aliens hive or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Music's not helping in that situation either. You're going where no cat has ever gone before. Probably going where no humans ever been before, to be fair, so... Uh, nope. Not true. Alright. Yeah. We're gonna start to have, uh... Well... You know. Gonna start to have you know <laughs> if you don't you will <laughs> I 
Yeah, we, we definitely need the crowbar because as uh, as we've proven before, I can't hit head crabs with shotgun. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna need to like head over into that corner over there. Um Yeah, you know where to go when you see life of some kind. That means you have to go there. But there's that robot back there. You didn't want to talk to the robot. I didn't see no robot. Back where he first came in, in the corner. You like shitting me or something? Now, now you got the Zerk's coming after you. <laughs> you piece of. <laughs> You're mean. Anybody ever tell you that? Nah, never. Get ready to have some fun. I don't feel like I need like a an airboat here. Jump up this boat. ramp and fly over there. Yeah. That'll totally work. work. You just okay. have to do it the right way. First you have to find the airboat. That's that's the trickiest part. Clearly the airboat's gonna be locked up in here where this um all these zerks are. Okay, I think I see I see something. Yeah. That's yeah. This is this is like a puzzle area. So okay, what we're gonna do here is gonna open the door, lure the zerks out, run all the way around, shut the door so they can't get back in. Um. I will okay. not. Confirm mm. or deny that, but, but we don't need gonna... we we need it to be open actually. Uh, I will confirm that. Let's get this memory first. They're responsible for waste management. It's trash from the upper level overloaded the slums. They tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. Oh. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, growing eating away more of the trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Yep. Alright, so they're not uh, they're not aliens then. They are man-made. Yep. Interesting. Okay, so where did yeah. the Zerks go? Oh, they're all just chilling there because I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Now they're saying hi. Your defense shotguns are quite slow when it comes to close combat. Yeah, well, it's um, CQ. I speak like I'm in the army, but it's effectively basic um, the CQC, isn't it? You don't want a shotgun when you've got like close close quarter combat. I'm sure that's um, unless you're just like running around a corner and want to blast somebody. Yeah, well, shotgun is more for close quarter combat, but right up on somebody, yeah, you want melee. Check 
jump, kitty jump. Are we safe here? Okay, I can see a switch. I don't see any zerks. Zergs, zerks, zerks, zerg. Wasn't he the guy yeah. from? Wasn't he the baddie from Toy Story? Well, I can tell you. I'll, I'll just say I died here. Okay. Fills me with uh, confidence. I, I died. I died a couple times, but I, you know me. I, I'm impatient, so I, I could have avoided death, but I was too impatient. It's gonna power this generator. Uh, one of my excuses for dying was the fact that I didn't know where to go. Okay. Like, like I knew where to go, but I didn't know where to go exactly until after the first death, and then I screwed around a little too much and. Well, I feel like... But third time was a charm for me. I feel like what's going to happen is I'm going to press this lever. That elevator is going to come down. And then after a small window of time, I need to uh, press it again to send me back up. That's what I think. But we'll see, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. And I bet it's going to be like... Oh, yeah. And by the way, while you're waiting for this... We're going to bombard you with these horrible things. You are correct. Ah, you're doing exactly what, what I did. those Call of Duty circle strategy would, uh, would uh, come in handy playing zombies circle strategies. <laughs> right, so how do we get into the freaking elevator though? That's the problem. Yeah, the elevator's there. Thank you. Nicely done. No deaths. Plus, plus 10 bonus points. B. Is that 11? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, about 50 more than I got. How did you end up with negative 40? Jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm just good like that, man. You know me. Oh. Uh, okay. I, I, tended, I tended to screw around too much. And, uh, I was just about to say, oh, I didn't need to jump on the top here because the door's going to open, and then obviously the door is yeah, screwed. Yeah, the first time around, I didn't. I was like, how come the door's not opening? And then I got bombarded and died. And I'm like, what the hell? Do I have it to is. wait? Do I have to wait for the door to open? And then I realized that the top was open. You are at the top of the world. All right, guys. I'm on top of the world. Hey. I'm on top of the world. Funny how putting a transceiver on a tower activates all the lights. Oh, uh, yeah. Why well, wouldn't it? It's, it's the link. It's like a basically a big fuse as well as the electronic components that allow transmission of data. So, yeah. It all I, also love the, uh, I also love the sound lights make when you turn them on. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a convenient uh, little bucket by the looks of it to send me back down again. Isn't that convenient? Well, it's always some conveniences. 
Who would force you to go back through what you've already done? Well, that would, that would just be evil. That would be like a would. game I would make. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside. Why would humans need to protect themselves from the outside, I wonder? It came at a cost. Nobody can get out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, unlivable, unlivable and dangerous. Alright, I'm getting the vibes of like full on nuclear worldwide holocaust or something. It's interesting. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. My promise was to go to the outside. It was to open the city. So some of some memories are coming back and others aren't. I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go. Let's find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Alrighty then. I love the fact that, like, as you go, I know it's in the elevator. It's like he was going like up on the elevator. Same with that. The camera just sort of like draws back further and further to um, kind of like give you a more cinematic view. Yeah, exactly. Just a shame that um, we didn't get the whole ride there. All right, this one's part two. Well, uh, I didn't expect to get a whole ride. I just figured that was just a transition, and which it turned out to be. So. Yo, Momo, where are you? Where are you at? Look, a note. Not outside of three minutes, means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take manager of the air antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Yeah. Sure. Pump in something, admin, admin at the end. <laughs> uh... Be careful, it's case sensitive. <laughs> uh, I hope you have a good short term memory. Yeah, it's spot on, clearly. Yeah, it only, it only took me one try. Okay, it took me to one try as well. <laughs> Find it quite weird though that like um, there's a there's like a passcode and it's for a window. It's not even for the door. Yeah, that's a door <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so we are back in the slums. Yeah, here's just back down where you were. So that means we can, uh, if we want to, we can now re-explore and try and find that other vending machine that we didn't come across. Okay, I was just going to ask you if you've uh, gotten all that yet, but I did not. Uh, how many? How many do you have left? One. Okay. Uh, I will say you're warm. Uh, I, I don't know which ones you got or not, because I wasn't a hundred percent paying attention to what you were doing the whole time. And which I found machines. this. Okay, I found. I think the last one I found was like this one, which was like I thought it was quite sneaky on the roof. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one of the that one, and then there's another one that's a little sneakier, I think, even though it's. Plain as day, but you have to explore. And yeah, when you see it, it's like, oh my god, really? It's it's simply right there. But yeah, it's you have to go a certain route to to get it. You're getting cooler.
Cute plastic chairs. I love the weather right now. Should we know what on the poncho? It's not. Grandma style. Sounds like a comfy thing. Celebrate the start of the weekend with your Alexa routine. Hope you have a good one. Yeah, I hope you have a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. I was a vending machine. Yeah, where, where would I, I be? Where would I be? <laughs> if it's the, like I said, I don't know which ones you've got, but I think it might be the one that was the last one I got. I'm just guessing. Unless you accidentally came upon it. But yeah, I had a I had a hunt for it. And it, it was yeah it was well it was well hidden in plain sight okay uh, yeah I mean I don't know, I don't know what else to say about it but it's not like you have to go inside of a room somewhere every every one of them are, is outside like a vending machine I found that one. There's that one down there. That's two. And of course you had the ones that were on ground level that were, as long as you ran around, you'd find them. Yeah. So you got those. Those were the gimmies. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that you're, you're probably missing one that's not ground level. Right, Sminka. I've been. I feel like I've been really getting. Oh, awesome, Sminka! Nice. I've, I've been really struggling just recently to like not get like fours and fives. Yeah, I've not been doing as well lately for some reason. I'm not sure. Like, it just hasn't. I've been getting fours, five, sixes. Uh. I've still get, been getting some threes, but less so than normal. But, uh, I, I guess it just depends on the word, and uh, yeah. But I noticed, uh, Mika, it, uh, you, you've been doing just as good or better than me you know, here lately, which that's... Uh, Normally, I'd say that's not really anything to measure against, but I, I, I am pretty good at the word games. So I'd say that's pretty... What's that sound at the door? It's really probably nothing. Hmm. Okay. We actually had a bit of a conversation about that the other week, didn't we? Death wish about um about like we've been on a streak now for such a long time. Yeah, the pressure I of think... like losing the streak is um is quite worrying. Yeah, especially going that long. I think today was my two hundredth in a row. I don't think you've you haven't um missed one, have you? You haven't you haven't failed one. So, well, no, actually, I when, even when I was when I first started posting I noticed y'all's posts weren't uh, formatted the same way mine was and I realized like when you, you called me called it out that why did, why did yours look like that I realized I was playing a spinoff somebody you know yeah. obviously I admit so I found the real one and, hey. but, but even with that 
Oh, yeah. That chain. There you go. Yep, that was the last one I got. Oh, it's like, it's, yep, right there, but they tucked it right there inside of a little skinny alleyway. Boom. Nice. Yeah, nice job. But I went around that whole area. What the hell was that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> a little glitch. But yeah, I went around that area 70 times. Finally came back and... And then I was like, oh, I can go down there for what? Oh, frick, there it is. Certainly an interesting way to um, get people to explore a little bit more. Yeah. All right, I've seen an achievement. I had a quick look at the achievements, and I think I'm right. Yeah. Oh. Good luck. Yep, that's what happened to me. And I'm like, except mine went to the other side. And I start to try to push it back up and just get it in there. And then I'm like, nah, screw it. They might have complained about them didn't have a personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimic humans. It's like they missed them. In a way, they kind of kept kept, kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Yeah, that's quite interesting to learn. But um, kind of weren't. Um, weren't programmed like that. That's almost like behavior that they've learned themselves. Yeah, oh, AI. Yeah, yeah. Like they, like they're taking care of plants when they don't need to. Yeah. That's because the humans did that. You know, for plants to grow and dark. Hey, little fellow, come here. I managed to get a signal. Okay. Bonus points if you start a bar fight. Bonus points if you start a bar fight. Get this thing working. Sounds like your dial-up modem needs a bit of tuning. Almost got it. I wonder why. I, I was kind of wonder why he had a Chinese hat. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out. And wait, is that you, Black Alza? Homo? Psh. I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. Psh. We are safe. Psh. We found a way up. Psh. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh. Very dangerous. Psh. Zerks everywhere. Red leader to Woodchuck. Over. Ow. Hello? Need to sort that class out. That class doesn't look too good. Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe Balstar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums. But if Balthazar made it, there must be a way. Ha. I, I, I don't know if it's like meant to be an Easter egg or something, but I noticed like at the, uh, the top of that computer screen, it said putty, which is um, Obviously, a, a networking tool. I don't know if it's like a little Easter egg or something, but uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you'll see some of that. Well, uh, when you're watching the screen late or you know, so-called late, there's actual code and stuff. Yeah. You never get past the sewers. It's from Festive Berserks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially the little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Come on, Seamus. Yes, but 
Ugh. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to him. He's just scared, like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned Secret Lab a few times. That must be where he got it working. He was working on it. There might be some clues in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Here's where it's like, uh... Is the oh, NPC going to walk slower or faster than me? Yeah, you can't trip him up. <laughs> Opposite controls, can you do it? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I actually went exploring on this part uh, to screw it around and forgot about following them. And then I couldn't find them. <laughs> I forget. I, I forget. I forget where I ended up finding them. This is as far as you had to go, but I found them somewhere else. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough and Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the Outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. I wonder if um, it's something through that door I knocked on before. Oh, no. Secret entrance. Yeah, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. There's a lot of information that will hopefully act on an electroshock. Find the secret lab that Outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and re-establish communication with the others. What are you doing here? I told you to go through the sewers in a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, that's my papa's. Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? Yeah, I like how they put certain words in yellow, like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Secret room. In our flat. So what you want you wanna tell me what the time is? I'm confused. <laughs> it, it, the time is right there. I mean, what's confusing about <laughs> it? It's like it's times. it's always five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> you know what there's a there's a, a house just literally a few doors down from me and they've got like an American mailbox on the front and they've got like a They've got like an interchangeable sleeve or something that they can put on the outside of it. And that most of the year, that's what they've got one of those on it. But like a little Hawaiian thing that says it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that means, uh, you know, I guess it means the same there. You know, about. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I don't want to have. All right. Yeah. We need to find. A password. I love the way it falls down and it makes him jump. Okay, um, <laughs> just wanna d d just take a look at this for a minute. Am I seeing this right? So I, I don't know if you'll see if, if you saw the same thing about this, but I'm I'm seeing a, a resemblance here to something. Do you see it? You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. Okay, well, given that the, the robot's name is Doc, I'm looking at the way they're dressed, and it reminds me very much of Doc and Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Okay, with the, yeah, the red. Uh, and, like, the wires on Doc's head is, like, the, the scruffy white hair kind of thing. Yeah, but, uh, okay. 
Okay. That's what I'm seeing from there. Anyway. Yeah, I can I can I can totally get that. He's got like the white jacket, he's got the red the red vest, like when they when he went back in time and to the yeah. garage, uh, bought the barn and thought he was an alien. He had the headset stuff and or whatever on. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it that way, but yeah, that, that, that's probably intentional. Because he has like a red sort of gilet, doesn't he, Marty McFly? Yeah, well, somebody in the movie asked him why is he wearing a life preserver. <laughs> I've never uh, seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. Those blueprints that must be there for this Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive on his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went out the side of the slums and never came back. Yeah, I make mean, a... There's plenty of places like that, but... Uh, now, typically in, like, government places or offices where we're speaking with people all over the country, all over the world, and they'll have... Uh, clock times for any of their home offices in each of the countries. So you look we, up to see what time they are. But, uh, the, I think, I know the, well, they always used to, the BBC and ITV, when they did their, like, main news, their main news programs every day, they used to have, like, the clocks in the background as well. For, like, uh, some of the, the key cities around the world. But yeah, it's, yeah quite common, uh, it's quite common to have. You know, I, I haven't seen that since like the 90s. I would think now everything is just on your computer. You know, so you can just, or, or they have a screen on the wall and you know, it just has, I don't know. It's gotta be a, I would just say for me, I think it'd be easier just to have a little widget, you know. Yeah, your, well, I mean, most most phone. phones do these days, don't they? So. Yeah, I mean, just you know, technology-wise, you can do so much that not much of an issue. But the ones on the walls were also uh, linked to the atomic clock, which the atomic clock is in, uh, I believe, Texas. And okay. It, sent, it sends out a radio signal. That literally the whole the whole United States can get, uh, and it'll automatically adjust uh, analog clocks that that have that ability. Man, you heel kicked that box like nobody's business. I did. Observation: Keep sound but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark reacts to intense light. Okay. So maybe we can use something like an ultraviolet light or something, maybe. 